Hi, Becky. Hi, Eric. Clean up this room. Eric, can you just listen to my sound? Because I think my husband fooled around with his computer and I can't see any settings here. Oh, okay. Does that sound okay? Uh, it, it might be a little compressed. I'm not sure. Um, did you, you can't see the, the button to turn? I can't find any of the buttons. I got this arrow. Okay, here audio settings, but I think he might have say, changed everything. It doesn't say turn on original sound. No, I can't. So um, down at the mute button, if you do that up arrow, I don't know if you've done this. You, you went to audio yeah. settings? Yeah, I just went to, I'm at advanced, but I could go back. Yeah, but, go to, so advanced, it doesn't have a button to say show me in meeting options to enable it is, original show sound. in meeting options enable original sound here it is so i should check that shouldn't i check that yes okay see this wasn't checked it was all set up last time okay so that should be good then shouldn't it does it say it should say turn off original sound yep turn up no it says turn on original sound okay then then click it And now it should say turn off original sound. Shoot. Click it. Yeah, it doesn't have that. Darn it. What do, does it say? Hey, Donna. It says turn on original sound and there's an arrow next to it. And then it says built in microphone. Just click the button that says turn on original sound. Don't click the arrow. Yeah, turn on. There. It won't. It won't let you click the button that says "Turn on Original Sound." Nope. Test automatic auto. And now I can't find it where I turned it on. Oh, it should be that. So, the button says "Turn on Original Sound," right? Do you see Up that? In the left-hand corner, yes. Yeah. So just click right on that button. Click okay. where it says turn on original sound. Okay, it says turn off. Okay. That's what you want. Yep. Okay. That looks good. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yep, you're welcome.
Hey, Susan, I, I don't recognize you. Are, you. are you new visiting us? Yes, I am. All right, how are you? Fine, fine. And I looked at all the, the tunes and I downloaded the, I printed them, I've got them on my iPad, I listen to the music, but they're not ones I know. So I will just listen, learn a new tune and uh, stay for the first part. But I used, I used to play with friends on Wednesday night, but just not oh. at all the same set list. And okay. I used to play only classical, so I've gotten away from writing. I try to learn just by listening, but for when I looked at the quantity of things, I thought I would at least know when I look it up, you know, the first four notes or something. So, so this oh. is very exciting. So thank you for including me. And, oh, um, sure. Yeah, it's really You're very exciting. Lansing, so. Okay. Far. Very nice. Okay. Yep, very close. And it was Brian Bishop. I don't know if any of you know Brian. Um, told me about this so wow. and this is Brian yes I have a new five string he made me too and he got it quite it's just amazing oh my gosh it is just amazing I'll bring it next time I thought I don't want to do accidentally when I'm doing this tonight get the fifth uh -huh. string but it's he made it so well I, I don't do that you that's know, awesome it. it's just it's just stunning the sound the everything cool wow. Well, Mark, who's on the, the call with us now, he's making a five string for me right now. Oh, really? Yes. Well, exciting. Very exciting. I think making is a bit too strong of a word, but uh, <clears throat> I'm just putting some paint on it. That's all. <laughs> okay. It's so much fun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Brian made me try one. He helped me find one on eBay that was inexpensive. But had a, it, but has still had a sound that other people like. But under my ear, when I took it on that one Wednesday night, you know, played for three hours, I couldn't stand it. But everybody else was fine, so I decided yes, I do want one. Great. Well, welcome. So, have you all played together for quite a while then? Some of us. Well, so, let's yeah. Play, let's, why don't we raise hands? Who's played together? But before ever, <laughs> or I've been, oh, wow. playing, I've been playing for one year with the group. A little bit I think over that counts year. quite a while. <laughs> and I'm a very beginner. I'm a beginner on this instrument. Oh, that's that's your other instrument. Yeah. Pretty exciting. It's fun. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm learning tenor banjo, so maybe sometime I'll try that. But I'm, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> My hand has to get the the, nice. the violin I can play, so I can play all over it. It's just a matter of you know getting the the pick and the the spacing of my fingers on my left hand. So That's I'm sorry. Here we call violins fiddles. Well, I know it depends on who I'm with usually. <laughs> Eric, what's going on with this uh, uh, person Mars? Yeah, is I, that the what is that? I don't know what that is. Um, it's an actual real person. Yeah. Oh. Whoa. Is that John? Is that John? No. <clears throat> no, I don't know who this John is, but. Uh, oh, sorry. Mars is my uh, is the handle that I use on Zoom. That's not my name, actually. Uh, <laughs> I've never been here before. I'm just checking oh, okay. this out. Very cool. Welcome. Uh, Hi. Hey, Mark. <laughs> John. Your your voice sounds like someone who joins us frequently, whose name is John. Sorry about that. Oh. I was wondering if we were getting a live feed from the uh, Mars rover. Yes. A nice lake, and there we are. Yes, nice lake and some greenery. <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that better? Yes. That's oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> at least for the background. No, oh, that's pretty trippy. Look at that. It is. <laughs> I'm doing, those, those are my, that's my hands. <laughs> Definitely Martian looking. Yeah. May figure me out here. It's trying to see me, but it's not doing me very good. Uh, I'll get rid of that later. See? Okay. I'm a person, actually, really. <laughs> <laughs> I see. 
Uh, I thought I'd start on flute with this group. Okay. Uh, that's all I have to say. I don't know what tunes you're doing or anything. First time, so we'll see okay. what happens next. Are, are you experienced with playing Irish music or no, just really. starting? Not okay. that much. Well, a little bit, but a little bit? Okay. not specifically, no. Okay. No, but I'm an experienced musician, though, so I know about what I'm getting into, more or less. Okay, that sounds good. Where are you from? Uh, well, actually, I'm from this area originally, but uh, I, I'm in Michigan here with the rest of you guys. Okay. I'm assuming that's where you are. Maybe you're not. I don't know. I'm come to think of it. Uh, yeah, I think uh, at least um, south Mich south lower peninsula. I think we're awesome. spread out around that area. Yeah, I'm in White Lake. Oh, okay. That's great. There's that one Ohio guy here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we have some Columbus representation. No, Dublin. Dublin. Right, yes. Dublin. Dublin. That's right. The other one. The other Dublin. Well, I think we're going to start with teaching a tune. And Tim, I don't know if if you're ready. I'm uh, I'm not even going to play tonight because my hand is bothering me. But um, you're the MC tonight. I'll, I'll be the <laughs> MC. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the note, Ashley. <laughs> Oops, hi. So this is, um, first of all, how many people know Tuttles? Everybody in my middle row, four people. Okay. Um, well, I was going to teach the, uh, Fran, you were talking last week about that recording of, um, Cormac Begley and um, Jack Talty uh, on the album that looks like it's pronounced now for Bog, but it probably isn't. <laughs> um, Tuttles and a version of Bag of Spuds. There's a different Bag of Spuds. Um, so I was going to teach Bag of Spuds. So why don't we do that? And then if there are enough people that don't know Tuttles, maybe we could teach Tuttles after that. Because that, that's a great tune. It's a meteor to your team. Um, but but ours, 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 I'm getting, I'm getting uh, an echo from the planet. Can oh. you mute, mute planet Mars? That's me. That's me. I'm still plant. There we go. Okay. I was hearing myself talk to myself. Mark, now you're on. All right. So this is. Um, so uh, tell me, was I causing a problem on, on or not? Oh, you just weren't muted. So I was getting an echo. Oh, really? Because I'm using headphones. Why would you be getting an echo? I don't know, but I, I, I don't. I, well, I don't think you're getting it from this end. I I think it was from me because I. I there? Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, I'll turn it off now. Um. Sorry. Sorry, Planet Mars. Um, That's all right. I just was wondering. So, um, so this is uh, a bag of spuds, and it's very simple. Um, and um, so let's just play it totally straight, and then I'll just show you the, the little simple ornamentation that will, of course, vary depending on your instrument. But the straight tune just goes like this.
So pretty straightforward, but it has a nice feel to it when you get it going. So Planet Mars, I still need you to mute. Otherwise, we're going to hear your guitar. There we go. So are you ready? So an F sharp and then um, A. So. Yeah. Um, one thing about th those first two phrases. Yeah. Um, you, uh, on fiddle, concertina, and um, flute, you can do a kind of. Uh, you know the emphasis. The. Yeah. Yeah. The whole tune. They play it with a strong backbeat or the, the, the there's the pulse of the Yes, thanks, Fran. Um, so back to uh, just the notes. And then just up a step for each. Everybody found those, okay? And then. So, excuse me. So here, here it is at a moderate pace. I just cycle through that a few times at a slow pace. Ready? play I'm going to add the next couple measures and, and just listen for a second so you can see how you repeat that
So let's do that again, and then we'll add the last little bit. Ready? little bit goes. So let's just put the whole, that's the entire A section and you repeat it. So it's very simple. Ready? So how is everybody finding those notes okay? Wave your hand if you're if you want me to slow down or go over some part of it. Okay, so let's just do it at a moderate pace. Let's just cycle through that about four times. You ready? I didn't explain that that well before, so the pickup. And so you can hear that backbeat. And how's that coming? Everybody pretty good with that? Okay, we're going to come back to it because then I want to talk about the ornamentation and I want to just get the basic notes in everybody's hands first. So the B, to, yeah. Could you aim your camera down a little bit just so we can I see your... Absolutely can do that. That'd be great. Thank you. Um, so here's the B section. So a little bit at a time. So you put those together, the first half of each of those bits is the same, but instead of going, instead of going up, the second one goes down. So. And so. And then, I should have said. Excuse me. 
So here it is. Tim, if you wouldn't mind uh, just slowing it up just a bit yep. for the, at least this couple of measures, it's a little. I'm going to break it in half and go slower. So the first part is. Let's go over that a few times. And then this, then the answer to that is instead of it's that C sharp to the D. So if you put them together, it goes. Okay. I just had to check that in my mind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cycle through that those two bits, you know, like four times slow. Ready? Should I go slower? How's that coming? And so this, then after that, you repeat. Same as the first part of the B section. But then the ending of the B section goes. So the second half of the B section would be this. And I'll cycle through that several times, just the second half of the B section. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Second half, I have to tell myself. Anybody having any glitches there on any part? Wave if you want me to go over something. Otherwise, we'll put the whole B section together. Okay, let's do the B section at a slow pace, the whole thing. Ready? And I'm 
gonna try to go a little slower, but I'm gonna go through that three or four times the whole, just repeat the B section. Can I ask one question quick? Yes, you can. When it go before the end, is that an A or a C sharp um, on the last little lick? C sharp. It's a C sharp, okay. Thank you. And an A would work for sure. They do a C sharp, but totally interchangeable. I mean, once you learn it, you can, you know, find those things if you want to vary it. That's yep. up to you. But Thanks. I'm teaching it as a C sharp. I so have let's a similar do... question. Yes. And maybe it's just because of my Zoom. Is Does the B part start on a C sharp? Well, or... no. A, it's a, an A pickup. The downbeat's on the D, but, but then A picks up. Said C sharp, and then I panicked and was like, My zoom is like off by like a bunch of pitches. <laughs> well, again, they're interchangeable, so I wouldn't worry about it. But it, yeah, I'm doing it so that every other it starts with an A, and then the second, the second fragment of each phrase starts with a C sharp. Got it. Thank you. Okay, so let's cycle through the whole B section three or four times at a slow pace. Ready. Is that too fast? Because I didn't, I didn't give you advance warning. We're going to go back to the A. It starts very just like something else I play on Wednesday nights, but it's a different tune from there on. Therefore, my hand wanted to slide into the other one. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely similar. Both P, both A and B are similar to other ones, but it's a short, simple tune. Um, that I think, I mean, I just learned it, although I feel like I learned it somewhere in the past and I just don't have it, a record of it, but it's just like a simple groove kind of piece, you know, I can imagine that a, a good person would be able to add a lot of nice variations and stuff, but I think it's that, that beat that Fran was talking about that you just get a really good groove going. So that le leads me into my next thing. I keep missing my triplets, but um, every instrument, the ornamentation is different. But if you listen, we'll send the recording around. If you listen to them, 
This is what it would be like on a mandolin. It's like the last, the second to last note of every phrase has a little ornament, like a roll or a triplet or some kind of a thing, if you listen to them. Something like that. I'm I'm horrible with my triplets, but if that's the idea of it. So find, you know, what's appropriate for your instrument if, if you want to add. I don't like personally with a banjo or mandolin, I don't like hitting a triplet on all those. It starts sounding really mechanical. But the way they do it with their two concertinas on this recording, it's it sounds very natural. So it's just going to depend on your instrument and your your own playing. I think there's a good recording with Mary Mack and her brother, oh. you know, concertina oh. and accordion. I think it's a good Claire tune, but I really haven't researched it a whole lot. It's yeah. a great tune for the concertina. It, it, yeah. It just comes really natural to me. And um, you could play those first A's on the different rows, the same A, and yeah. it... it it's really good. Good one. Yeah. So, um, is everybody fairly comfortable with it? Do you want to do it more, or are we done with that? Let's play. Right. Let's play a few more times, two or three more times, just to cement it. Okay, a moderate pace all the way through, with repeating each section once. Yeah, maybe a little bit, a little bit slower than. That last time. Like, yeah, that was for demonstration. Moderate, not advanced level moderate. <laughs> say that again. What'd you say, Lauren? Like, like remedial level moderate, okay. not advanced moderate. Like. Okay. Ready? I'm sorry, Lauren, I sped up. That's all right. 
Okay. No worries. Okay. That's a tough one. Ah, uh, yeah, you never know from instrument to instrument. It must be a mandolin thing, because whenever I play my mandolin, I like double in speed by the end of it, a tune. Really? Every time. And I can't handle going that fast. But so... not on fiddle? <laughs> no. I it's think it's, there's no sustain, and I think yes. your brain wants to fill it in or something. It's, it's always the same when people pluck on string instruments, on, on orchestral instruments. There's no, they want to fill in that space. Right. So I think it's ex exactly that. Oh, well. Okay, so there you go. Bag of spuds. So what's the deal with tunnels? Are we are going to teach that next week then? It's looked well of the people here tonight anyway, four out of 12 new titles. So I think that's, I think that's fair game. To teach? Yeah. Okay. I could use a bit of a refresher myself. And tunnels is more, you know, a bit more complex uh, than that one, but it's a great tune. So let's do tunnels next. That's good. And I could listen to it all week to yeah. prep for myself. <laughs> yeah. A lot of great recordings of tunnels for sure. You know, uh, Eric, you didn't mention at the beginning of this for the I guess two new people who have not joined us before, if you share your email with us, um, we will send out the dots and also links to the recording sometimes of these tunes on, on YouTube or whatever. So. Um, yeah, I think at least Susan, I know I sent you the folder that has all the stuff in it. So Mars, uh, there's a bit of a delay. I think it would probably be what, 30 minute delay communications getting to Mars, mm -hmm. but. You know, uh, maybe yeah. if you... my email. got the original one from you, Ashley. If there I was know any, I have your email. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I I was just going to point out that uh, I think you kind of mentioned it at the beginning, Tim, that there is you know there's another tune, shock, gasp, called the bag of spuds, um, that's in a completely different key. Um, that's actually, at least in my experience, is maybe even probably more prevalent, more well-known, or at least it's on more recordings. So just 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 know that. So if you're doing some research or looking through your your recording collection, that you might come up to something called the Bag of Spuds, and it will sound quite different than this, too. Thank you, Joe. I you play also, Joe. I absolutely. And I think I said that, but if I didn't, that's exactly correct. No, if, you did. Absolutely, you did. The other thing I should mention is that if you go on the session, there is a version in D, but there are more versions there that are in, I believe it's G. So, I mean, you know, especially these simpler tunes, expect to see them in more than one key, potentially depending on how people are combining it in different sets or maybe from village to village or something, I don't know. That sounded great, Mark, or Tim, I'm sorry. Yeah, I like those, uh, the, the triplets you're putting in there. Really good. Uh, I think we can start the, the session now, if everybody's ready. Yeah, okay. Uh, James, welcome back. It's been, it's been a little while. Uh, yeah, I, February is my busy month. I had some extra stuff going on, but should be back now. Um, so I just have, I don't have much for today, but we can always go with um, coolies, I guess.
cuts are sounding. Those are coming up good, yeah. Let's see, uh, Becky, you're up next. Um, Lilting Banshee. It's all slowly. <laughs> I just lost. There. That's nice, Becky. Uh. Oh, can you hear us, Becky? Yep. I just I lost it. I went. I lost the uh, Zoom. I just brought it back. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that sounded great. Thanks. Joe, you're up next. Um, about. Um, rolling in the ryegrass, and then um, maybe um, Father Kelly's after that.
My mute button's not working. It's so quiet. <laughs> it's never that quiet. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Ashley, you're up next. Cool. Um, over in the morning, Maggie, and maybe Lady Anne Montgomery. Let's see if I can hack it. <laughs>
Nice, Ashley. Very nice. I lost my headphones nice, there, so I hope you could still hear it. <laughs> yep. Ashley, where did you uh, learn the uh, uh, Miss Lady Anne Montgomery? It's, um, a, it's a different version than what I know, which is pretty simple. Oh, is it? Compared, well, it's pretty simple compared to yours. Yours is a bit tarted up. So. Oh, well, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> um, I, I just learned from the Cultus, Cultus album, the, the session okay. thing. Where did you learn yours? I forget. Okay. Judy oh. maybe told, uh, taught it, Judy Fallon. You'll have to play yep. your Fran, own Fran sometime. Says yes. I'll have Brand to you play yours sometime. <laughs> well, it's much simpler, so maybe yours is better. More complicated isn't always better. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Daniel? Yeah, I'll, pass. I'll, I'll pass and I'm going to make my departure. So I'll okay. see you. Thanks, thanks, Tim, for the tune in. I'll see y'all in a week. Yeah, see you later. Uh, Fran, you're up next. Darn it. I was just trying to think of a tune that came into my head today, but it's gone. It's been one of those days for me, too. Um, Fran, is it the tune or your head that's gone? Both. All right, God, good. And the one that's in my head now... Nobody knows, so I'm not going to play it. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what what would go well with the morning star? <laughs> That's it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I've been playing that all week, Fran. Really? Yeah. With the honeymoon off of the May Morning Dew album. Oh, wow. Anyway. Oh, yeah. But it, I was going to play it tonight. Oh, sorry. Get out of my head. <laughs> well, you can play it and then maybe I can play along on flute. I think you're up next. Hello. Hi, Brian. How are you all? Yeah. Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. So thanks for sending me the information. So yeah, glad yeah. you could make it. 
yeah so so but um anyway how is everybody we're good good passing around some tunes okay <laughs> <laughs> Eric, actually, I'm going to pass the first time around. Oh, okay. Don't mind. First thing? Yep. Uh, let's see. Who's up next? I'm up next, and I'm, I'm not playing tonight. Um, Tim, you got one? <laughs> oh, did he just leave? He's not there. <laughs> uh, let's see, Lauren. Tim the ghost. Um. Yeah. I'll give Timmy Clifford's a try. No guarantees. Hey, did I see you playing along with Father Kelly's earlier? Were you playing along with Father Kelly's earlier? What? Were you playing along with Father Kelly's? No. Oh, okay. No, I don't know that one. No, I was no. probably just impolitely doodling on the instrument. <laughs> rough we'll get there it sounds so nice on the harp <laughs> thank you i also have some good news my wayne state audition was accepted yay oh. so we're going congratulations thank you Congrats. yippee i start in the fall and get to drag that thing down to the city oh yeah but I guess they have two or three harps down there, so hopefully not every day. Hopefully I'll get to play one of those. What are you doing a degree in? Is it performance? Yeah, harp performance. Nice. Awesome. Yep. Cool. So, should be should be good. I'm working on the uh, Nutcracker right now, because I've been told that will be the one I'm asked to play for the rest of my life. Because wow. um, there's a big harp part in there. And, uh... Yeah, my classical playing hopefully sounds a lot better than my classical.
Well, it's playing. <laughs> That's all right. Well, yeah. the rising tide will lift all boats. That's right. Those songs are very nice. I'm just going to listen tonight. Okay. I have to bow out after a while, but I just wanted to see how it went. This is wonderful. Thank you, by the way. I may slip out, but oh, it, this is great. I will definitely be back if it's okay with you. <laughs> We're just here to get as many people to join in as, as we can. So thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Mars, I, I, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name earlier. Is it? Call you Mars. Yeah, I don't Kurt. know Mars if, you, if that's not it. Right thing. Uh, I said it's Kurt. Oh, Kurt, I'm sorry. I missed that. Do you have something you want to play tonight or share? No. Or no, I'm not. Uh, I, I don't have any tunes in mind for you guys. Okay. Sorry. I haven't been playing any of this kind of music with anyone for quite some time, so uh, it's not, <clears throat> but I've been listening to it, so. I got interested again. Cool. That's great. Yeah, I'll come back. I've been in a lot of jam sessions. I played guitar also and flute and uh, let's see, what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I played piano and keyboards. So if we ever get together in person, maybe it will be nice. It's coming. Yeah. It will happen. At some point. <laughs> mm -hmm. 15 and older in three weeks can get vaccines once we're vaccinated. I get my second one Monday. Yay. Here's the ball. Right. My father in law is 70 with stage four cancer, and we still haven't been able to get him one. Oh, wow. Yeah. We are, we have not left the house for months. I cannot wait for him to have one. <laughs> where do you live, Lauren? Where do you live? Lake Orion. Mm -hmm. yep. I just got mine today in Lake Orion. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. I'm taking my grandma to get hers next week. My harp instructor, who's 70, was able to get it, but I don't know. He just hasn't been able to get an appointment or a call. He's on, like, every list. Just, like... You know, I would call again. I know some people... Or I'm in Ingham County, and I know some people have gone through some things, and they applied again at the county site and got in. So I wouldn't uh, hesitate to try again, because yeah. it's sometimes, sometimes things just get stuck. Yeah, Oakland just sent out a thing to everyone who is still on the list, so we know he's on there. So I'm trying to get my mother in law to Okay, like, yeah. Can we At least call you again? Know. Can we get my hands? <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> like, if the 50 year olds are getting it, he has to be able to get one. Like, <laughs> really? All the teachers are getting it too. Like, I couldn't get it as a teacher in Washtenaw County, but I could in Grand Rapids, so I drove to Grand Rapids. <laughs> so. I, I would drive him to Grand Rapids if I had to. I just I would like to relax a little bit. Yeah. Oh, he'll get an appointment there if you call. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It's a. It's a huge. It's at the DeVos place. I actually it's have like, to, to see you all. Yeah. Bye. Is he in the St. Joe system? Oh, Saint, Sorry, I he, think I'm lagging real bad. Is he in the St. Joseph system? I'm not sure. I'll find out. Because that's Good how one. come I had to go to Lake Orion to get mine. Didn't have any okay. openings in Ann Arbor. So maybe St. Joseph gotcha. had. Yeah. All right. I'll try that route too. Thank you. All right. I'm taking off. Okay. Thank Good you. Good luck. Bye. Bye. So Michigan is going uh, 50 and over now? So, okay. Starting. Next, 15 over. Next week, if you have uh, uh, like uh, comorbid conditions, and three weeks if you're just a normal everyday Joe over 50. Oh, not um, Joe Fago. He's not ordinary in any means. <laughs> Joe's already had his vaccine probably months ago. 
No, I won't be able to. I mean, I'm not, I'm nowhere near close to it. They're going really slow here. Oh, come on. Your company's got them like just to hand them out like candy, I'm sure. Jenny's had both of her shots because she works for the Dublin schools, but uh, not Joe, not me, speaking of myself and the <laughs> person. I've really lost it now. Brian, uh, do you have something you want to play? Or, or you um, I'm not familiar with your repertoire, but uh, okay. Um, let's That's see. never been an impediment before for anybody, so don't worry about it. Okay. Well, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, I, uh, I. I suppose I could play like the choice wife or something like that. So, so, so is it, uh, so, okay. Sounds good. That. So, yeah. Okay. Um, also, I don't know uh, how, uh, what speed is appropriate right now. So, we're open to what, whatever's comfortable for you. Okay. I really like that tune. Yeah, that's a great tune, actually. So, what 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 did you call it? Uh, the choice wife. The choice. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, it has the other name, it has the third name as well. Um, and fish fluke. That's right. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. which which I never uh, remember how to pronounce. So, it's, uh, so I never use it. So, but uh, yeah. That sounded great. Thank you. Thank you. So, what are you playing, Brian? I can't see your instruments out. Is oh. that a guitar? Oh, it's a uh, it's a bazooki. Oh, it is bazooki. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, ten string bazooki. So, yeah, nice. So, yeah, it's tuned like a mandolin with a low D. So it's uh, yeah. Like a octave mandolin. Oh, there we go. So. 
yeah that's nice so yeah i want one of those i want one yeah they're nice bazookas are cool there yeah. are lots of fun yeah. I love yeah. actually uh there is one here but it's a it's only a six string i want hmm. the 10 string it's three doubles three doubles is it a greek it's a greek okay yeah i really like those actually yeah you tune it like dad or ada or something any old way you like i don't really know i've tuned that, that thing a lot of different ways not recently but uh, yeah oh okay yeah yeah it's um i uh, my first bazooki was a greek bazooki and uh um i sold it a long time ago for college tuition so and we should still had it so but that was a while ago is everybody here from michigan by the way or okay Joe, you're, uh, you're from Michigan, but not not currently living here, right? Right. I'm not not in Michigan. Oh, okay. So. Where are you from, Brian? Uh, Madison. So. Um. I don't remember how far that is away. About 300 miles from Detroit, or which I think is where Wisconsin? you guys are. So. What's that? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah. So, yeah. That's what's great about Zoom. I know this is my first night also, and I'm from East Lansing, but I wouldn't be driving to Detroit in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. I really appreciate it. I'm fond of Zoom now. <laughs> I think. Has its time, well, we had Steve Rose coming. Uh, did you play? He's a flute player, uh, up, lives in the Lansing area, and went to some of the uh, sessions that Brian. I guess he and Brian led the uh, Charlotte, is it? Oh, yes. Yeah, the Charlotte one. I went yeah. to that a few times. Yeah. I've oh. never been there, but. Yes. I don't really, I know only Steve from watching him there. But okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. No, it's a great group. And the elderly, I went to elderly. I had had my second vaccine three weeks ago. So I boldly went to elderly yesterday and got some pics. All right. So, that was fun. I keep I keep them in shape, uh, you know, by doing curbside. But I thought, okay, I'm going in. <laughs> so, <laughs> but they're so nice. That so was really good to see people there, and I didn't touch anything. They were very kind too. When I wanted to try things, I, uh, you know, I'd go in first thing in the morning, and they'd have a room ready and an instrument behind the counter, and just take me right on down, and then, then I would try it out. So, anyway. Oh, that's great. But it's so much fun. How did you hear about this, Brian? Um, well, I was actually looking. Uh, I uh, play a couple of other Zoom sessions and uh, from San Diego and Los Angeles. And, uh, and I wanted to uh, try out some other ones from around the country, actually. So that's and, great. Uh, I, so uh, go ahead, that's, Susan. I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead, Susan. Oh, I was going to say that, no, I do ukulele with friends, and that's fun because they, they put up the music, and I just try to stick to, I'm trying to learn how to play it, I mean, other than the cording, but it's, you you, once you get started, you get connected with it all over. Yeah. You know, you know yeah, it's Brian, real. I've I've participated in that San Diego jam, and I recognize your face from there, I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's wonderful that we're truly a nation of Irish music players. It's not just in one location anymore, yeah. which is excellent. That's I'm going to miss it when we uh, go back to a little bit, but it, you know, it'll be nice to get around the table with some uh, beer and actually have a drum to keep the beat and all of that, <laughs> be able to hear people. <laughs> we can always set up a camera in a chair. Yeah. For everybody else. <laughs> That might happen. 
So, yeah. yeah um, when I when they started the zooms, uh, you know, I was kind of skeptical, but it's uh, but actually, it's uh, I think it's actually turned out pretty well. Um, yeah. In terms of uh, uh, meeting people and, and uh, playing with people um, as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm joining like sessions like tomorrow I do one with a slow session in um, England, Irish slow yes. session. And then Wait. I signed up from some slow sessions in Ireland. And I also do one um, with Windsor and they have people from um, Australia and, and Denmark all over the world and the Windsor one. Oh, wow. What time of day do they do that? <laughs> like, it's Irish time, In the man. middle of the night. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they are. They're up at midnight yes. and stuff. And the England and the um the England one, they're all really drinking. They're they all the they're the same way they were thirty years or forty years ago. I spent with the um some people from England. I mean they're all they talk about is drinking. <laughs> so the bad. English one is tomorrow? Where, yeah. How do you get to that? Um it's well this is it's it's not a it's a session where she plays and you play along with her she plays slow it's slow session yeah I'm yeah, yeah and then she plays so no one plays but um but her, her. right she's an excellent violin teacher it's called kitty just uh look her up kitty greenwood kitty oh. greenwood um, okay and i just i like listening to her but i can play along with her you know but it's for slower people like me because so, uh, I participate cool. in two um, old time jams from England. There's the Phoenix folk uh, group, um, and then Sue Mo has an old time jam twice, twice a week, actually on Sundays and Tuesday nights. Mm. And how do those work? I mean, I play old time. Depends on who I'm playing with. But how does the, how do the old time sessions work? How do you feel about that? Does that translate? Somehow? Well, she yeah, she and her and her friend her partner play. Mm -hmm. So there's a backing guitar and a fiddle, and then uh, there's some other folks that take the lead on occasion. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not a bad thing. Oh, good. It yeah. helps me. I learn backup because I always play the melody, but whatever instrument I'm mm -hmm. playing. And so it's really um, liberating for me to be able to play backup and not have anybody hear me. And I can, I can see how it's coming, you know, so I feel like very liberated and it, you know, it's good. And I think Brad Kolodner has a old time session on Tuesday nights. That is pretty fun with he and his, his dad and his brothers. Right. And that's I think of something about that's Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. That's Tuesday nights. So those are fun. So this might be a good time to mention, uh, Eric, about when, um, for those who are probably, there's three or four people who might not be on our Facebook page and getting notices. We're going to have uh, Winnie Horan of Solace come in and do a workshop sometime in the next three or four weeks. So yeah. um She's really great. She's a wonderful workshop teacher. One of the best workshops I've ever attended. So if you have the opportunity, uh, come join us. Keep an eye out on the Facebook page. I think that's where the announcement will end up being. We'll probably send out an email to the whole list of people yeah. when, when yep. we get the date nailed down. Yep. Be great. So just a plug. Thank you all. I'm going to go eat now and catch the end of the Michigan-Michigan State game. <laughs> oh. So Is there I, any I, doubt? I, <laughs> who's winning? Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye, Sue. Hope to see you next week. Thank you. Thank you. James, I think I'm out too. So you guys rock. It's nice being back here on you guys, and have a good week. You okay. Too. Bye, James. <laughs> Becky. Oh, I'm sorry, John. Yeah. You. I'm, I, I came in very late, so I'm going to pass. Are you? Okay. Then Becky, it, it is your turn. Yeah, I don't have another one prepared. Okay. Becky, how's the puppy?
Um, today he walked around the park twice, so his, he's I got him under control. Good. But because of the um, the um, Texas had all those storms and everything, he's got special food to keep him from getting this pancreatitis and stuff, and they um, couldn't get the food out. So nobody has this food, and if I put him on something else, he would have got sick again. But um, um, I think I got the last case of the food. So um, a rescue from Texas? No, no, the food. Um, he's he's been very sick, and he's on special food. And if he didn't get that food, he probably would die. And I got the last case so, of arrived yesterday. So, so it's a manufactured in Texas then. Yeah, yeah, and they couldn't yeah. ship the stuff because of all the problems they have down there. So oh, wow. it was all sold up everywhere. So I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, because he's doing so well right now. So but he's doing much better. and He's walking far now. Not waking me up three times at night. That's good. Thank you. I'm curious, knowing where you live now. What park, what park do you go to? Take it for a walk. What park is it that you go to? I live in Lafayette Park, so the, the Lafayette Park. Oh, okay. I was... So he walks, we walk around the whole park, and he hasn't been able to do that for months because he's so sick. So we've been doing the whole middle park of Lafayette, the north of Lafayette Park. Okay. I have a, I have a, so an acquaintance that lives in Lafayette Park. You wouldn't happen to know Toby Barlow by any chance, would you? He lives in my building. Oh, does he? Oh. Yeah, we know him very well. He's okay. You know, he's got uh, dinner parties at our house and stuff. And oh, cool. And he's had he's my husband um, is a beekeeper, so he had his cook from his restaurant come to our house, and they put truffles in our honey. And then they sold it for some outrageous price. <laughs> so it was truffle honey at his, they sold at his restaurant. Oh, fun. Wow. They closed it just before, which is good, just before COVID hit. So, uh -huh. so you know Toby? I used to work with him. He was my boss um, at J. Walter Thompson and when I worked downtown. Yep. So yeah. he's a really, really smart, interesting guy. He writes for the um, um, New York Times. and. Oh, yeah got all the books out and i've got yep i was working with him when he came out with sharp teeth yep. um yeah, we got so that was his first i think that was his first book it's about a uh, werewolf that falls in love with a dog catcher um yeah it's real crazy it's a great book actually yeah so. fun small world yeah yeah i don't know if you heard it Last week we were talking about it. I own an apartment in the thirteen hundred building, like right next to where Becky lives. So I, I was yeah, she looked. He he looked down into my courtyard, yeah. from the high rise. So. That was apartment. I didn't even know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's wow. see. Uh, Joe. Sure. Um, Fran, I'll play um, the, uh, the uh, strawberry blossom. And then um, if I hit it right, I'll try to go into the honeymoon.
What's the first one called? Uh, the Strawberry Blossom. It's really similar to Mullen's Fancy, but um, I think it's different enough. Cool. Thanks. Thanks, Joe. Sounds great. Uh, Ashley, you're up next. Cool. Um, about time you have to be quiet. Can you guys hear lots of clicking? A uh, couple. <laughs> Just playing a video game. It's really loud. All right. Well, if you hear any demons screaming, that's from him. Um, not the violin. A uh, couple of polkas, maybe. <laughs>
Now you were cursing out loud in the middle of my tune. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. It's R-rated over here, apparently. Sounds good. Well, um, I mean, uh, Zoom sessions don't have the sound of Monday Night Football playing in the next room or anything like that. So, so, um, or loud, uh, loud pub noises and things. So, <laughs> it's true. This is the home ambiance. So. Yeah, that's right. Friend, I don't know if you've got, are you ready to play a tune? You got one for us? Friend, can you hear me? Can you hear me, friend? Who are you talking to? To you. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, Tim hasn't had a turn for a long time. Uh... Because he was away when you called him. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. We should go to Tim. You think so? Okay. But I've, I've got a couple of tunes when, whenever you come around. Okay. You want to go now, Tim? It'll be a while before you come back around. Are you talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me or Fran? I'm talking to you now. Sorry. I'm happy to play something. Fran, Fran conscripted you. No, I, I. she's correct. You skipped my turn, or maybe I was out of the room. There's a delivery in my house I had to get. That's right. That's right. Um, okay. Do you, do you want to know, or should I just play? You can could, you could share. I need to know. Okay, humors of Tully Crine and Far From Home. Oh, you want to see to prove that I'm actually moving my fingers? <laughs> yeah. <Wait. laughs>
what did you call the second one, Tim? Far from home. Or far for far for Nugent. Yeah. Far you play that as a hornpipe, or do you just kind of go from telecreen into a reel? I went from a hornpipe to a reel. So sue me. <laughs> That's a good tune. Those are. That's both, a nice set, Tim. Yeah, those those go together well. That's actually. good. Mary McNamara goes from um, Humors of Tully Crying to um, Mickey Callahan's Fancy. And it's a similar tune, although she does it in uh, F, B flat, C or something, I think, which I can do, but I figured probably not as session friendly. That's a good tune, too. She does a lot in F. I'm starting to learn a tune that she does in F, and it's so difficult. So. But I think she's playing probably an F, like, or a B flat concertina. I think. Might be, but you know, um, Kitty Hayes did a lot of those tunes, and she just—I think she just used a regular CG. Concertina. Yeah, she just used. But Mary Mac, you, she plays. She the plays F. A B flat F. So does she have a concertina like that then? Well, you know. Um, I think she's got a B flat F, although I remember at this the most recent uh, the Fecal Festival, she um, was loaned a seven mount uh, B flat F. Is that you playing, Tim? But yeah, I'm I'm learning a tune in the F, which is just real difficult with the C tune. But I think. But the caves of Kiltannon, I'm learning it both in G. Oh, the caves of Kiltannon, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and I'm learning it in both the G first, and I'm also um, trying to figure out the F, which is I've never done before, so it's taking forever. <laughs> That's a hard tune in G. Yeah, um, it's I had a. Here on uh, concertina, though I gotta say. Yeah, it's it's not bad, but learning the ornamentation, I just had a lesson yesterday, and I'm gonna have to repeat. You know, keep looking at the. I mean, I'm really having a difficult time with the ornamentation with it. It's just really, I'm not getting it. So, well, you know, um, I'm on the intermediate course with um, Kathleen McGowan, and she teaches a bunch of the uh, ornamentation. But it's it's funny what she calls a roll. Doesn't seem like a roll that I know. You know, like oh, it's not like roll. it's not like the fiddle roll, not at all. Probably and not. I'm having trouble with the rolls because the speed has to be just perfect, and I'm getting the speed off with the roll yeah. right now. It's I don't think it's as easy as the fiddle. <laughs> no, well, fiddle's not e easy, but it's it's different. Perfect. Yeah, it's different. So yeah, I'm learning all this ornamentation. I could do it without ornamentation, no problem. And with octaves and everything, but the rolls and the cut, I mean, all this other stuff, I'm just not getting it right. Well, that's all right. You'll hear it someday. Yeah. That's, that's what retirement's for. Yeah. Yeah. Empty nester, that's what that's for. Well, friend, I don't know if, if you're ready now. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think uh, the Battle of Agram and um, what's that Bonaparte crossing the Rhine or something like that. If I don't mix up the parts. <laughs>
distracted by a stink bug. <laughs> I'm going to go put him out. That was great, friend. Thanks. That's good. That was great. Thank you, friend. What was the name about Lost Tune? I think it's Napoleon Crossing the Rhine. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think it might be or Napoleon crossing his legs, Napoleon crossing his fingers. Um, I think it was Bonaparte crossing the Rhine. Oh, okay. Oh, or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, that's, um, good too. that's a set that I got from um, Patrick Orso a number of years back. Bonaparte crossing against the light. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Mark, are you, uh, is your connection working better now? Well, it seems to have stabilized. It's, uh, I upgraded my internet this week, so we'll, oh. I'm now uh, twice as fast as I was and half as fast as the government says broadband should be, so we'll oh. see. It should be. Uh, what was that, Eric? It should be a great improvement if it's twice as fast as you were. Yeah, well, it's still slow by anybody's measure. Uh, it's been speeding up and slowing down quite a bit. I, I, I don't know if it's, I assume it's my internet connection, but so we'll give it a shot. So, um, put out the big box, get something that's what? Put out the big box and get something that's worthwhile instead of just spending a five dollars more. Uh, yeah, well, that's what I did, but the $5 more, but I'm, I don't know, they're just offering the uh, Starlink in my area, which is that high speed internet with a high tech satellite antenna that whatever, but I don't want to pay a hundred bucks a month plus $500 for the equipment. I'm not up to that point yet. So at any rate, uh, Dr. O'Neill's maybe? Um...
Very nice, Mark. Very nice. That was good. That's too. good. That was great. I like that too. At least I didn't freeze up before I even got the chance to start this time. Uh, it's much better. It didn't freeze up for me at all. Yeah. That was good. All right, Tim. It's back around to you. You got one. Um, okay. I don't remember the name of the first one. Set of jigs. Um, second one is, um, um, the, the old favorite. And the third one is the, um, the Cliffs of Moore, but it's that other version. Um, I, does that have a name? Is that somebody's Cliffs of Moor or the just the old Cliffs of Moor? Was or? it Martin Rochford's Cliffs of Moor? Maybe. I, I do it in, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what key it is. Well, we'll figure this, it out. I'm, I got this off of the Martin Hayes album, so. Uh. Um, anyway.
<laughs> yeah, I'd never played it up there before. I I didn't realize that was on one of Martin's uh, albums, but it goes to, I mean, it makes sense. <clears throat> Is that first tune the Lark's March? Probably. That sounds right. I think it's on Under the Moon. It's one of those early albums. I think that's what it's called. That sounds right. Mm. Anyway, I really like that close some more. It sounds even better if you go slower. It's really good. That is really nice. That's great. I like that version. Yeah. That was the first time I've ever played um, the old favorite on um, the Bazooki. So I'm like, oh, it sits really nicely on there. I'm going to have to uh, play that a lot more. Yeah, that's great. Kurt, uh, I don't want to just skip over you. If you got something you want to play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, no, I haven't been playing any of these kind of tunes lately, so no, I can't present anything right now. Not ready. Well, we're glad you can join us. No, I'm having fun. I'm, uh, I'm planning on, on getting more into this this type of music. Could you play so, a Martian tune? You wouldn't be able to understand it. <laughs> Try me. <laughs> Let's see. I'll get one together for you next time. No, now I got some ideas. I, I have a bunch of, uh, I have ways to learn these tunes. In fact, I used to know a bunch of Irish tunes, but I don't remember which ones they are right now. But I have, uh, I have some of them in a book. So I can remind myself. Yeah, like That's about like where I'm at. But, uh, maybe by next time I'll I'll see if I can get one or two together. You know, it's something to do. That'd be great. Yeah, I I was away from Irish music for a lot, many years, and um, it, it takes a while for the tunes to come back, but eventually they do. Uh, let's see. Who's up next? Uh, John? Yeah, still with us? Oh, yeah. uh, then Becky. You're up next. You got one, Becky? Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Good. And Joe. You're up next. Or Brian? Oh, uh, Joe sounds good. Oh, Brian, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, of course, I'm not uh, looking at the list here, actually. So, how about? Um, um, how about the old chair and uh, something else? Okay. Good. Okay. And um, I'll think of something actually. So. Okay. By the way, I have to look up the old favorite as well. So that sounds like a great tune. So.
Great set. Really, oh. nice. really nice. Thanks. Uh, that's uh, the second one is called the Congress Reel. So, so yeah, it's nice too, actually. Reels too and the Congress Reel. I have to go finish making dinner. So, I wish I didn't have to go. This is fun. Continental type person. What? You continental? <laughs> yeah, well, I might have eaten by now if I hadn't been doing this. Ah, okay. But, okay. All right, well, nice nice to see you, Tim. thanks yeah. for the tour. Good to see you, Tim. Good oh. to see new spaces. Come back. <laughs> Will do. Bye. Okay, take care. So, I think I'm going to head out too. I'm a little tuckered out. I got up really early this morning. So come Thinking back about at that point as well. Everybody and uh, see you next week. All right. I guess I should probably sign off as well. Sounds like they're putting the chairs up on top of the tables. They're turning the lights on. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll see you guys. Bye. Hey, friend. See you later. Bye, friend. I'll see you all Bye. next Bye. week. All Bye. right. Take care. Thanks. Thanks for coming guys. Thanks. Yeah. Eric, what, how's your thumb doing? I can't hear you. All right. Yeah, it, it gets better and it gets worse. And every time it gets a little bit better, I play and I play really, I end up playing hard because I'm excited to be playing and then I, it feels bad again. So. Yeah, you need to rest. Like, that's good that you didn't play tonight. Yeah, I, no. I'm the hand specialist on, on Monday. To get it checked out. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't want to be struggling with playing at this point. <laughs> yeah. Don't play until you go to the spe specialist and see if it improves, you know? Yeah. You just rest it for a while. Yeah, that's what I got to do. So, yeah, that's a bummer when you can't play because I couldn't play for three months, you know, and it was horrible. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. I was all excited Mark, when Mark gave me my, my fiddle back after repairing it. And I, I played it really hard a couple times and just kind of did me in. That's what you get for having me fix it. <laughs> So I get for having it was harder to play after you got it back, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it sounded better, and I, I was excited to be playing it. So. Um, Brian, how long have you been playing? Um, since, um, since the early 80s, actually, so it's been a while. Yeah. Um, that sounds so. really great. Yeah, thank you. Just... Yeah. You know, really nice rhythm and everything. It's great. Long. Um, I started playing uh, bluegrass actually, mm -hmm. and uh, back in, and then I decided that I wanted to play Irish music more actually. So, so I moved to that. Have you Have you been to Ireland? A very long time ago. Okay. Yeah, not in the early '80s actually. So, no. And it'd be nice to go back, actually. So, yeah, I got my concertina like a couple of weeks before I went to Ireland a year and a half ago. So, it got me excited about Irish music. So, oh, okay. What kind of concertina? It's uh, um, Edgley. He's he's he um he's like a mile from here in Windsor. Oh wow! Okay. And um, when I was in Ireland, I bought a book from um someone who wrote a book about concertinas and playing it. And she had the same concertina. Mm. She, had, she had bought it from across the river here. So, and I go to sessions with the guy who made it. So. Oh, that's great. In Windsor. So he's, he's a really great player. He used to, he used to play with us quite a bit. Um, he did. I didn't. Yeah. Know. 
Yeah, back uh, it was 15 years ago, something like that. He was he used to uh, run the uh, the dance sessions at the on the Thursday night session. Oh, he did. Yeah, so we this back when it was back when we had you know dancers and kids running around everywhere and and uh, uh, dance classes and Gaelic classes and that was back when in the heyday of cultists in Michigan. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, he was a, he was a pretty prominent member. And the the sessions in Windsor, he didn't really go to those, but then he gave up his piping or something. And then he started going to those sessions, but he's not doing the piping anymore. So. Um... Frank was good friends with one of the, one of the people that taught me how to play fiddle. Oh, wow. Glenn Schultz. Uh huh. But that was, that was a long time ago. I remember seeing Frank around. Back when you had hair. <laughs> right. Big hair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hal Brian, uh, it's a bit great having you join. Are, are you th will you think about maybe joining again? I mean, um, you joined a little late this time. Usually, we start off with teaching the tune and then play some slow tunes and then pick up um, speed later on. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd like to come back actually, if you don't mind. So. Um, yeah. No, no, you're, you're, everybody's welcome. So this is, uh, um, we're an open session. Anybody can play. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm an hour behind you, by the way. So it's, uh, so it's, um, so I have to, uh, it's, uh, there's no excuse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, no, that would that'd be, that'd be, is there a good session scene in, uh, in Madison? Um, there was a once a week session that happened uh, um, before everything happened, and uh, so and I've, I've got that going on um, by Zoom right now. So that's my that's my weekly session there. So it's a um, and uh, I, well, I mean somebody else's, but I go to that one. So um, but uh, yeah, then there's several others which I. Um, have not been to. I've actually not lived here, not lived in Madison for uh, very long, actually. So. Oh, okay. Where, where are you originally? Well, uh, I lived in Georgia for about 20 years, and before that, I was a. Uh, I grew up in California. So. I see. So yeah. So. So uh, yeah. So I'm just kind of getting familiar with this place, actually. Mm -hmm. How far are you from Chicago? I, I don't quite remember how far Madison is from Chicago. About uh, two and a half to three hours. Ah, uh, because there's some there's some really great sessions in Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've uh, been running into uh, at least one person who uh, uh, from Chicago, and uh, you know he's uh, talking about some of the sessions that would be be great to go to actually. So. Yeah. So when I can travel again, um, I think I'll head on down there and yeah, we'll try. Yeah. Milwaukee. Milwaukee probably has a good session too, I would think. They do. They have several uh they have some good sessions there too. So um the uh it's uh it's about it's almost two hours away. Um yeah. and uh um love to do it. I'm not sure I'm uh, such a long distance driver anymore. That's the only problem, so. so, but we'll see. That's a long ways to go for a session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is. Um, uh, when, I was, uh, when I was living in Los Angeles, I, had to, I was usually driving 60 miles one way to a session. Um, wow. We can, that, that would tire you out actually, particularly if you're coming back at two in the morning, so, so. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah. It's tough. So, yeah. yeah. So, did that for a while. So. Right. And I do that when we're, when we're meeting in Ann Arbor. I was usually driving out there. It's about an hour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And same with coming to Detroit. It's a long haul for you. 
Yeah, I was. I worked in in downtown. Oh, okay. So that's good. Years. I was kind of used to it. So. Because I, I would like to go to Ann Arbor, but um, I can't stay awake driving home at nine thirty at night. I'll fall asleep. So. It's tough. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, dangerous with that. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I like the Windsor ones. It's so close, you know. Just but I just have to cross the bridge. I'll pay for ten dollars across the bridge all the time. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, and I heard there's there's a good session in London. Is that yes. anything about that? Um, I was in a se yeah I was in a session in um, Rochester, and these people from London from Ontario. Yeah. That joined that Rochester one, and they, oh, okay. they belong to I think the London session. I think maybe yeah in Ontario. I need to get over there and check some of those sessions out. <laughs> That'd be fun. Yeah, someday when they'll let us back across the border. Yeah. That, the last time I went, he wouldn't even take my identification. You know, they always take your identification. But he was like wearing gloves and he didn't even want to touch anything, you know, when I was crossing the last time before they closed the border. So, but. all right, Eric, I'm signing off for the evening. Yeah, me too. So, Thanks, nice Thanks seeing everybody. everyone. So, nice meeting you all. Nice meeting you, so. Brian. Hopefully, we'll see you again. Okay. Uh, so, that'd be great. See you next time. So. Yep. Bye-bye, Ryan. Bye-bye.